Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while and I have missed crafting. I hope that you've missed me anyway. Let's get started. I'm starting off with a galvanized bucket and I'm going to take this large tree. I've also got these two smaller ones, but what you want to do is bulk it up first so that you don't have to like fill it up. So I'm just taking some packaging and I always keep this for crafting. And then I'm taking my larger tree and I'm placing that at the back. And then this one here I'm going to place on the side. Just want to fill all of the gaps and really pack it out. I'm going to take another tree and I'm going to place it in the side as well, but have it at a different height just to keep things interesting. And these are really quick to put together, you don't have to spend much either. I've got all of this in my stash so I haven't spent anything. So take this snowy pine cone which you can just collect yourself and then paint it or just add a little bit of that snow spray to it. And I'm going to add that to the side. Just taking a bit of hot glue to secure that in. And then I've got this from a potpourri pack little brown ball I think that will look lovely inside too so I'm placing that next to the pine cone again just adding a touch of hot glue on the side so it doesn't move around then I'm taking the cinnamon sticks just a bit of hot glue on the side on the handle area then I'm taking this white rattan star I'm going to glue it onto the cinnamon sticks right here I think that really looks perfect. And these of course you can make to sell, you can gift them and you can use them as decor. I like to make things that you can do all three with. And then just finishing up with the arrangement I'm going to add the bird here and I'm not going to need any hot glue for him. So I've just been playing off camera with a few things, some ribbon, I was going to add a stencil maybe but I think I'm going to go with this, it really ties in with the two colours that I'm using. So I'm going to add a touch of hot glue and add that right on the front. And this is a first finished project, I'm really happy with it, I think it just looks so high end and classy, elegant and I really love the colour coordination, I think everything just goes so well together and even though it was quick and easy to put together, even inexpensive, you know something like this would cost a lot more in a store. For the next project I'm taking this frame or wall art and I'm going to turn this into like a tray and we're going to display something, a really lovely scene. I'm going to be creating like my own Christmas miniature village. So I'm taking these which are actually little wooden humans that you can paint but I do like using them for hooks or even little legs which is what we're going to be doing with this one here. So you want four in total and you can leave as or you can paint them. When I want something fast and I'm just working on a small project and I want it to dry pretty quick I take these paint marker pens. About 10 minutes later I'm back, I can't believe how long that actually took and I have paint all over my hands but that's what happens when you're a crafter. So now you're going to turn this over and hot glue four in all of the corners. When I make my crafting videos it looks like I do everything really quick, that's because I edit a lot out and I do a lot off camera like painting these. It does take a while though to come up with like a concept and then I try it out off camera like just to see that everything goes together really well. So even on my first project it looks like I just get the arrangement right but it takes a lot of trial and error moving things around, getting different objects and seeing what fits best. So on here, because this is pink, I'm just going to cut this paper. So now I know where to cut. And then because I have a little bit more here, I need to just cut a certain amount. I like to do this just with my fingernail. It's a lot quicker than grabbing a ruler. And I know how much to cut again.
It doesn't have to be accurate because I am actually going to put a snow blanket on top of this. And here is a snow blanket. So I've doubled it up. And again, just see how much you need. Now I'm just going to cut it to size. Who else finds the sound of cutting, especially certain materials, really relaxing? I feel like this one here is quite relaxing. Now I have my snow blanket on, I'm going to take my houses and place some on. I've got all my white houses to create this little miniature village. And this has smoke on from a previous project when I used it. I just hot glue a little stuffing on top and you can position them as you like. Then I'm taking these trees. I've taken them off. They were on like a wooden log and they are wire. Now because this is going to be a bit tricky, there's not much area to add hot glue. I'm going to take these beads and I'm going to secure them with hot glue as well, but they do fit nicely and that's how I'm going to add it on. But of course you're going to see the beads, so what I'm going to do is actually just kind of pierce it through the snow and put the bead from underneath. So I am going to have to remove all of the houses because I didn't think of this before. <laughs> And then try and remember where I wanted it. I think it was about here. So I'm just poking it through the blanket. Be very careful doing that. And then just add a bit of hot glue here on the top. We're going to slip that through the tree. I'm going to put the other tree in. I know I want one around here. So again I'm just piercing that through and adding another bead. Now again you're going to need something to strengthen where we want the tree to be. So I'm taking a bit of cardboard and I'm going to stick the bead down onto that. So you can add hot glue and push it back to secure it onto the cardboard. And I'm just doing the same for this side. Now my trees are secure, I'm going to put the houses back. That looks so much better with the trees. And if you want to, you can even add some miniature humans in. I'm probably just going to keep mine without, but I'll show you how they look. You can get them like this, you can get them on Amazon or eBay. You can let me know in the comments, do you think that they look better with the humans? Or without. And to finish off, I have my secret weapon. Fairy lights just always add that magic, especially for Christmas DIYs and winter DIYs. I do like the warm light more. This is like the cold one, but I really like the beads that it's on, so that's why I'm using this. And you can decorate this however you like on your village scene. And then of course you turn on all of the houses that light up. A lot of these are LED, this one here needs a candle so I will put that in. It's going to be very magical. I'll show you how it looks. I'm so happy with the way that this came out. It's so magical and I love these little miniature scenes, especially winter scenes. And I have saved so much money. This was so affordable for me to make. I had everything at home already. And you can get a lot of these basic items from the dollar store, the pound store, even a thrift store. And just look at how magical it looks with the room light off. It's so beautiful. I can stare at this all day. I think I'm going to place it on my window so everyone who passes by can enjoy it too. 
So next, as you can see, for the final project, we're going to be creating a really classy high-end wreath to match all of these classy DIYs. I am really loving how they've all come out. So I've taken some greenery to start off with. And we're going to place these at the bottom here on the side. That's coming up a bit longer than I want. Just lower it down and push it in. So you don't need to hot glue these if you're using a wreath like mine. Then I'm taking some more greenery and actually some of these are from wreaths. I wait until the sale after Christmas and then I take them because I know I'm going to just take them apart. So I'm using this as a tree and I think I'm going to have it here. So let's see if I can get away without hot gluing it. So meanwhile, I just want to stick these, which are some snow embellishments, wooden ones. And I think I'm going to do it like this. So I'm coming back to the tree, adding my hot glue at the bottom and securing it in place where I want it. Then I'm taking this lovely tree deck. I'm going to take my hot glue to secure the stag on. Now I've got a conker that I collected from the park. I'm going to add that in and this faux acorn. I've also got this pine cone, it's snowy. I think I saved this from an arrangement. That's what I tend to do. And it comes with this lovely checkered bow. And there's a little space here. I think that really fills it up and just adds color to it and really does look perfect. Almost finished up now. I'm just going to take these small snowy pine cones and I'm going to add them in. Let's see, that one doesn't need hot gluing. This larger one needs a bit of hot glue, so I'm going to tuck that in. I'm going to have three in total. I've added this Merry Christmas topper and I have removed the trees because those weren't doing it for me. I've taken this small one and I think I'm going to add that in and this bigger one here. I think that would probably look a lot better. I just need to stick them in. And I've removed the base so that there's just a wire. There's a little gap here and I think this smaller tree, this is the smaller size I have, and it just fits perfectly. I've gone with the whiter one as well. Can you believe that I never used to like wreaths and now it's one of my favourite things to make. And I think I make them pretty well, if I can say so myself. I do enjoy them, just the whole process. I'm so glad that I changed the trees up. It just makes all of the difference. And here are all of the projects. Let me know what your favourite is and would you buy these if you saw them in a store? I think I definitely would. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye.